Hello, so today I'm going to show you how I create my digital seating chart for my classroom using uh, Google Slides. So right now I'm in my drive, so I'm going to go ahead and click on new and go ahead and click on Google Slides and I'm going to just click blank presentation. Okay, so right here on the title page, I'll, I'll just click, I'll just put in seating chart for now. And you can put your your class name, whatever there. That's completely up to you. Go ahead and click that out. So next, I'm gonna go up to the top left here where it says new slide, and I'm gonna just click on the blank one. You have all these different choices here. I'm gonna click blank. All right. So now I have a blank slide. So next, I am going to create the desk or tables, whatever you may have in your classroom. So I'm gonna go up here where it says shapes. And you see I have all kinds of different shapes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that square there. And there's, there's one desk. There's two desks. Whoops. Excuse me. Let me go back. Click shapes again. Make Got another desk there. You can resize them. So you can make it look like a desk if you want. But if you have tables in your classroom you just pull it out shrink it down there you go you may have circular tables in there if that is the case then click on the circle and then click my circular table there and so forth and so on until you have all the tables and desks you have in your classroom once you have um, your class laid out now if you have um, multiple classes during the day um, I'm a middle school teacher, so I do. Instead of having to redo this slide over and over again, I'm just going to go to the slide here and right click. And I'm going to click duplicate slide. And let's say you had three classes. Like I have three classes during the day. So each slide has my tables laid out how I have them in my classroom. And then the last thing I have to do is just put in the student's name. So you'll see up here where it says text box. And just go ahead and put in the text box there and we'll just put in we'll put we'll say you have a sally and put another text box in here and we'll put malcolm and you can like i said resize the text box how you need them move them around if the font is too big, just go up here to the font, shrink it down. If you, so you have put multiple students at the same desk. And there you have your uh, digital seating chart. And now um, you can share this with your admin. Um, if you know the sub coming in, you can share it with them beforehand if you have to. Um, so uh, just a real nice, easy way to uh, create a digital seating chart using Google Slides. I um, hope this help. Hope you're able to use this in your classroom. And until next time, everyone, be good.